Manny Franco. Manny, I gotta ask you, first of all, congratulations, MVP of the Jockeys versus Horseman basketball game last night. 21 points, throwing it down. Uh, the athletic ability you were showing was something that, uh, I, if, you, if Jockey doesn't work out in the long run, we definitely could find a basketball team for you. <laughs> so uh, I gotta know, you know, why did you become a Jockey? How did this all start? Um, start um, when I was in Puerto, uh, in Puerto Rico, my country. Um, my dad, um, he always liked the horses. Uh, race racing um, the racing so I every time go with him to, to the to the racetrack in Puerto Rico and he, he was the races every day so I, I kind of I was so I was living with him in Puerto Rico so that's the way I get involved watching the races with him and going to the track and I just fell in love with the sport how does that conversation go with your parents and saying hey I want to go do something that's super dangerous and be a jockey every single day. My mom was, she was, she, she don't want me to do it. My mom, I, I used to play baseball before getting to the, to the, to the sport, to the racing. And she, she was, she telling me, no, no, don't do it. Keep, keep, keep playing baseball. But like I said, I, I fell in love with the sport and it was my decision. I just, Start in, in the school in Puerto Rico, and that whole that, that's where it always goes. So, when did you first get up on a racehorse for the first time? When did you start school? I start when I when I when I was 16 years old. So I I got a bit, uh, I I was two years in the school. So I graduated when I was 18. So talk about that transition, how you came from Puerto Rico here, and where it all started. My dad did everything. I mean, when I when I um. When I was in the school in Puerto Rico and when I graduated, I just, my mind was just right there because I was doing okay, I was doing well as a, as a friend. So my dad did everything, like he, he made some calls, some friends of, of him and he, he, he bring me here. And where did you start when you came to America? I went to park racing in Philadelphia and then I, I moved to New York. So in the background over there, I see your agent. Can you tell me a little bit about your uh, your relationship with your agent and how that works? It's been it's been really good. Um, right now we have like maybe six seven months already. So it's been nice. I like the way he works. Like the the relationship with him and just looking forward for good um, you know good. Um, Big race, winning some big race, win him, and that's what we're trying to do. Last question for you, and I have to ask: favorite mount of all time? What was it? It's a lot, definitely. That's um, one of my. It's my favorite horse ride um, that I've been right um, in my career, and that's my horse. Well, I actually have one more for you. Then, you know, what was that mount that you really you said I made it? You were like, I am a top world class jockey now. What was was it Tisla Law? What was the mount where you took it? it might have been earlier along the, in your career that you said, Wow, I can really do this. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I, I don't want to say Tisla Law because one of my um, when I win my first Grade One with it was a horse called, um, named um, Joking for Charlie Baker. We win the, uh, I think it was the bus board in Belmont. And I think that's what the, one of the, when I start, one of the biggest ones. So I say, okay, so we belong here. <laughs> well, you definitely belong here. You're having a fantastic Saratoga meet and good luck with the rest of the meet. Thank you, appreciate it. Okay, Barn 47 in Horse Heaven with Michael Trombetta. Uh, you have Arzac going today in the Troy. Uh, horses won at this five and a half before. You're going against Golden Pal, uh, probably one of the super horses people are talking about right now. Can you tell me about what you think of the chances today? You know, obviously we got to beat Golden Pal, but our horse has been training good. He came out running as a three-year-old this year, or I'm sorry, as a four-year-old, and uh, he's definitely improved from last year. And we figured if uh, we're ever going to take a shot, now's the day to do it. In races like this, you know, what goes into getting a horse ready? You know, this five and a half, it's cutting back from six to five minutes. What do you do, especially on this tur this course, which sometimes plays a little even shorter than five and a half? What are you guys doing to really get this horse ramped up? You know, we, we just watch how he trains and how he's been breezing. And it's not a tremendous amount of stuff that you do differently with these guys. You're just trying to have them their best for, uh, you know, the day 
the day that comes up when they got to run against a horse like this. In terms of your barn this year, are you the same size as normal? Yeah, pretty much. We're pretty busy. We're scattered all over the place, but uh, in the mid Atlantic. But uh, yeah, it's numbers are about the same. And last question for you: In terms of two-year-olds, anybody that we should be excited about coming up? You know, we always try to get excited about the two-year-olds. Uh, it's we've had a few of them want, win so far, and a couple of them are are worthy of trying stakes. But we have so many more of them that haven't run yet. So we're we're being hopeful. Well, good luck today in the Troy, and good luck with the rest of 2022 meet. You got it. Thank you. Mike Maker back on the far turn of the Saratoga racetrack. You have two horses going in stakes this weekend. Uh, you have one today, I believe. Uh, Stolen base, can you tell us a little about the horse? Uh, been a great horse for us. Looks like we might get a little rain today, which I think will enhance his performance, but uh, it's like a big effort. That cut in the turf, uh, we're expecting a, quite a bit of rain about 1, 2 p.m. today. Um, looks like the National Museum came out pretty well. Going into tomorrow, you have some like hop round. Can you tell us how the horse has been training? Horse has been training good for a few years now. Uh, now the one I appreciate uh, cutting the ground and uh, an outside post, which I think is to his benefit. And, uh, expect a big effort from him again. Speaking about your barn this year, uh, we've talked to a bunch of trainers. Some have cut back on their size this year due to stable space. Are uh, you usually the same same size that you normally are? Uh, we ran to Michael Dubbs' barn, so we have more horses here than we have. In terms of size of that barn, is two-year-olds making an impact? Any two-year-olds that we should be aware of coming up? Uh, I have a horse called What a Blast. Gonna start on the 13th. Uh, we got Love Tank today, and then uh, a couple of New York birds getting started next week. Well, good luck with these two stakes horses this week, and good luck with the rest of the meet. Thank you. Michelle Nevin in Barn 73. Michelle, you have a, a horse going in the test today, uh, tomorrow. Um, Elm Street coming out of a race from Los Al, which is a little different coming across. Can you tell us about the horse and how you acquired him? Um, I got him through, or got her through uh, Billy Kosh and Phil D'Amato. Um, they wanted to give her a try here in Saratoga, so just helping them out for right now. But she's a really nice filly, and she's trained well since she got here. Race seems like it came out really well. Um, horses statistically have struggled when they've come from Los Al to other tracks for their first try out. Anything you do differently to sort of prepare them when they're coming from that Los Al? Well, you want to get them here, get them acclimated, get them used to the surface. So she's been here for over three weeks, so she's done well. Last question for you. My boy Tate, fan favorite. People love that horse. Uh, I've seen it back on the training up here at Saratoga. Any chance we're going to see that th this meet? Yes, he's definitely going to run up here. Anything you're pointed to yet? Um, there's uh, the New York stake coming up on the 18th. That'll be, uh, sorry, the 16th. That'll be the, the plan. Well, good luck in the test tomorrow, and good luck with the rest of the 2022 meet. Okay, thank you. Barn 71 with Thomas Morley, the red hot Thomas Morley, I say. Had a, a training double the other day, almost had the uh, three. Uh, you have a horse going in the lure this weekend. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Uh, I know it's a little higher on the morning line, but I think the horse has a much better chance after its last win at Belmont. Yeah, he's um, he's doing really, really well. Uh, came into us and won the 2X. Eric gave him a super ride at Belmont. Um, and it's a race that looks like it's got plenty of horses that want to go forward, and that just might be an advantage to us. So, you know, we'll, we'll ride him the same way as we did at Belmont. Let him break out of the gate and then do his own running in his own time. The trip might be a little bit short for him, and he is a very, very big horse. Those are my concerns getting around the tight turns up here. Um, but until we try it, we don't know uh, how he'll handle the course up here. And if he does handle it, I think that the 20 to 1 might be a little bit of a big price. Saratoga is a place definitely you got to try things. Anything can happen up here. You also have a first time starter going this weekend. Can you tell us about it? Yeah, Bolt Euro Philly uh, called La Grotte. She's owned by Ron and Ricky Rashinsky's Home Wrecker Racing and Michael Leiden, who's actually here this morning. She's just gone out to the track to train now. Wonderful minded Philly. Um, tall, elegant, leggy. Um, I'm not totally sold on the turf, but I didn't want to start going seven furlongs on dirt. Um, so we'll give her a run on the grass and see how we get on. But she's a filly I think has a decent level of ability. Last question for you. Uh, I know you lost some on the claim up here. I think you've actually claimed one or two maybe yesterday. Can you tell us about the claiming game up at Saratoga this year? It seems like it's something we haven't seen in a while with 23-way, 18-way, 17-way yeah, shakes. It's been a very, very active meet for a lot of us. Uh, people want to get their hands on some horses. Um, and with a declining foal crop, you know, it's harder and harder to replace the horses. I think we've had six claimed offers and we've claimed two back. So. You know, we've been involved in some 13, 18, 22 way shakes and you got to get lucky up here. Well, good luck this weekend and good luck with the rest of the meet. Thank you very, very much.